Hello! So, here I have my little character that I've put together. Uh, last night I wanted to do a bit of an experiment in rigging to the Unreal Mannequin Skeleton. So, I took uh, the time to make a little character and the objective was to have the skeleton uh, but then I would add all sorts of other bones to the skeleton and then bring it into Unreal and um, just uh, attach it to the standard third person uh, blueprint and animation make a few little modifications along the way anyway this is what I've got so this is the bones as you can see I've added a bunch of a whole bunch of different bones to it. I've moved the hip bones out a little bit, changed uh, the lengths of some of these as well just to match the, the character. Um, let's have a little look at him here. Uh, he's having a little slow stroll. So this is after attaching it to the blueprint and uh, the animation. So here we go. Basically, all of the uh, animations that are for the mannequin are going to work with this little character now. Very handy. But he's also got his own bones as well. Extra handy. Uh, these are the collision objects for those bones. And what have we got here? Alright, so here is the animation blueprint. So I've added this uh, little section to it. And uh, basically, it's, it's a little slowdown animation. There he is. And um, yeah. And yeah, so just ways of getting out of that and to jump or into, back into the idle run sequence. Um, so, what I've also done is I've also added a little the IK system. So, his feet um, you know, sit on the surface properly. What else do we have here? We have the dynamic um, nodes, the anim dynamic nodes. So this one's for the tail, this one's for the feelers. Uh, a lot of little settings, a lot of mucking around to try and get them working. But in the end, it came together quite well. I got some dust happening here as well, so that when he's running, the dust is flying off his feet. And then I went ahead and made a material, uh, material to which I then made the uh, uh, the uh, instance. And uh, in this case, we've got a bunch of little parameters that we can change. So here's the instance. So variance in the color of his texture, uh, detail. of the actual glow, so what colour is the glow? Um, what else have we got? Metal, normal amounts, roughness, uh, make it a bit more shiny if you want. And anyway, let's have a little look at him running around. Here he is, standing in the supermarket. It's all glowing. And look at those dynamic tentacles tail. So uh, yeah, there he is, he's doing his thing. Alright, dust, all sorts of stuff out there for him. The, uh, the IK working. Yeah. So he's, looks pretty good. Does everything that I wanted it to do, so I'm happy about that. Took a bit of and about to get to this stage. But, uh, the main thing was just getting the dynamics working properly, really. But, uh, yeah, I think they've come together all right. Anyway, tell me what you think. And uh, I could probably do some sort of tutorial on the, um, the full process if you're interested but if not
Tell me what you think. Later.